Hey guys, this is World War II Buff 10, and I am back. Um, yeah, I haven't been back for about half a year now, so I guess I've been busy with the farm and different stuff, and like to enjoy my summers. And, well, I find these videos enjoying, but anyways, let's get on with the video. I was going to upload a video a few weeks ago, no, last week, but my internet shut down, and we finally got that back in a back to working so here we go um yeah a long time no see haven't been uploading in a long time um i do have some world war ii stuff i'm gonna put up eventually but right now i just made some apocalypse stuff and i'm working on apocalypse stuff and at the end of this video i think i'll show you my brand new robotic arm i'm making um as you can see i got better lighting um, just got two brand new lamps today, and I got a new camera for Christmas. So, as you can see, it's way better than my old one. Clarity is amazing. Just one moment, adjusting the camera here. Uh, so let's get to looking at these figures. Um, uh, let's do this figure first. Okay, this is a brand new figure, I just made her. Um,. Yeah, sorry for the shadows, just a little bit. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Okay, apparently I can't. Anyway, so this is my brand new figure. Focus. Okay. Anyway, this is my brand new figure. Uh, she is apocalypse, winter, winter kind of thing. You can see all the blood stains on her vest. And... I custom painted the vest, custom cut it out. Um, I'm having some problems with the vest because it's a little bulky. So the arms can't quite go over it. So anyway, I'll fix it. Uh, you can see right there and there she has scars. And I'm going to take, take the jacket off quickly. One moment. I'm going to show you the painted, custom painted legs. Um, I did custom paint these legs, um, and that's supposed to be like a bulletproof vest, bright orange for some reason. Anyway, it's apocalyptic time, scrounge up whatever you can. But anyway, um, I did custom paint these legs, they're jeans with ripples in them, and brown combat boots. Uh, I did not paint the brown on the back. You can't see that. Oh well. Sorry guys, new experience with a new camera, so I'll get the hang of this camera eventually. But custom painted all that and the blood stains too. Ugh. There. As you can see. So that's it for that figure and get to that one. Uh this is this is actually kind of an older figure I just made. Um, it's got a nice hood, I put, I taped yarn to the front of the hood to make it look like fur, and, a uh, nice pickaxe right there, um, it's actually a custom decal I made for the backpack, I think it turned out really, really good, can take it off, it just hooks on right to there, um, AK-47 I just found in my brick arms bowl, and yeah oh and i did use michael mgs um uh, what do they call it headset uh idea and it turned out very very well so yeah uh, i got a few rubber band type things for kind of like climbing climbing ropes maybe uh, custom painted boots only did it I didn't do it on the back just like the the other figure I made and so yeah that's it for the figure and on to the snowmobile um it's pretty nice snowmobile uh made it myself I used two uh what do they call them skis for the bottom um Nice design. Still got to find a handlebar for right there. Um, 
Yeah, I know that's miscolored right there. That, but anyway, uh, I actually I took these black pieces and made them. I took these black pieces and made them kind of like tracks. And yeah, sorry for the background noise. My father is using paper and stuff. But anyway, and then the inside part for the mechanics and mud flap on the back and yeah that's pretty much it so i don't know got nothing else to show you except for i'll show you that robotic arm i made oh and these are these rubber band things i think they're just like hair pins for women whatever i don't know whatever they work well very well uh, let's see if i can get this can't see it too well uh, it is painted Let's see if we can get it to focus uh, yeah still still trying to figure out this camera but anyway it does look pretty nice I've been reinforcing it like crazy with super glue um, it is a about the size of a normal radar arm here let me get a comparison um, but it is longer tad longer as you can see so yep that's all I have for this video let me set this up again get this stuff out of the way oh don't fall over and yeah pretty much thank you and that's the end of my video uh keep Keep watching this channel. I've probably lost part of my viewers. Um, but, yep. I'll continue to keep getting better and figure out this camera, hopefully. And, yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe, and bye.